This tutorial is about form validation in which we will validate the data submitted by the users. For instance, if we input the value which is less than five characters, then it prompts a message, the error message. Same for the password, at least eight characters. So we say password and P-A-S-S. So this time it says passwords doesn't match and the invalid email address and if the entries are not valid then the form will not be submitted so we make all our entries valid so admin password and invalid email address and then only a form can be submitted so now let's make it so we created an heading and a form this form has an id so that we can access this in jquery and do some stuff uh, related to this like to access the events related to this form like when it's submitted and the action for this form is register.php so let's create that too so create a new file and paste this code this is quite similar but this is just simple heading the form has been submitted save that as register.php close that and inside of form here we have a table this table has five rows this is our input box and we have assigned class and id for all the input boxes i mainly use classes only for the styling purpose and I access elements in jQuery by using their IDs. And there's one more cell for the purpose of error messages. I have assigned them a class and the ID. I'll show you how it looks. So go to style sheets and I'm pasting some code and reload. So this is how it looks. These are four input boxes. I have given them the same class which is our form text form text and I have given them the separate IDs so this is like form username form password form email and this is a submit button and I have assigned it a class submit button so this is the styling for that and here are error messages which is a span tag and they are kept blank but if we put some text inside it and reload so this is how will it look but we'll put this text dynamically so go to script.js and i'm pasting few lines here so initially we are hiding all the error messages these are the ids for these pens and we create four variables these are global variables one for each error one for username password retype password and error for email and by default they are set to false so just reload and what we want that whenever we click in this box type something and click outside this box then something should happen and what that is that will check the given value is valid or not then this event is called focus out event so we'll work on this so we script.js and this is the focus out function which is applied on form username which is the text field so on the focus out event of this box we say alert test save that and reload so i put admin click outside the box and the event files so now back to our script.js just remove this we have done this for one field so let's do that for all fields so on the focus out events of all these boxes we want to perform some tasks accordingly so whenever this event happens we want to run this function check username so here is our check username function. So this is the first line in which we have created a variable 
so this is basically grabbing the length of the submitted value of this field of this id and what our form username is this is our form username and we are checking if the length is less than 5 or greater than 20 then we should fill this error message into that span using html method and if you remember that by default it is hidden but in case of error we want to show it and we set the variable error username equal to true because by default it's set to false and in case of no error we don't want to show this error message so we hide it so let's test it save that reload with less than four characters so admi so here it gives error message but in case of five letters it goes back so this is our check username function now time for check password so here is a check password function in which basically are checking that the submitted value should be more than eight characters long then it should give this error and then our retype password function so here we have our check retype password function in which we are grabbing two values password and retype password this is the form passwords value and this is the form retype passwords value which is getting from here form password and form retype password and we are checking that they should be the same and if they are not the same then I show this error passwords don't match and finally we have our check email function so let's put that so this is our check email function in which we are using regex object this is a separate topic which we'll discuss later but simply it is testing the value which is coming from that field in which the email is given and if it is a valid email address then it hides the error message but if it's not then it shows it and sets the variable to true so these are the four things so now let's test them so admin looks good password we just say p-a-s-s that says at least eight characters long so p-a-s-s w-o-r-d no error now and again if we don't match the password p-a-s-s -S, it says password don't match but if they match then the error disappears but what we want that in case of any error this form should not be submitted so how we can prevent this so go back to your script.js and i'm pasting a few lines of code so this is in submit event so whenever that form is being submitted so this event fires and we are doing these things so whenever we submit this form that means when this button is clicked then it again set all these variables to false and run all the functions and in these functions we are performing our task like we are checking username is valid or not same for the password and email also these functions are setting these variables again true and false and if all these are false then only it will submit the form otherwise it will not submit the form so let's test it so admin pass pass and this email address but there's one error and if we click on this button so nothing happens but if we remove those arrows And then we submit a form and the form has been submitted.